Evening everybody. Evening everybody, it's quarter past seven on a Friday night and we're still wearing the same tops that we did yesterday. We haven't been home. We haven't been home, we haven't had a shower, we haven't seen nothing. Been on we, the lash. We, big thank you to... Freaky uh, Friday Freaky was Friday. great. <laughs> <laughs> drunk, Tim, still drunk. A big shout out to Tim living with MS in Tenerife. If you're not subscribed, get on there. He's given us a big shout out. Hopefully that quite a few of his viewers, I would have been on there as well, giving you some stick coming over to our channel quarter past seven on a friday night and we're absolutely two days i have and we're buzzing <laughs> he's been sat here for two days terry <laughs> oh i love it i love it do you know some uh, fred and ron's up there they've been sat there with a the breakfast for two uh, days as yeah. well and they're still in, in the same omelet in the same omelet <laughs> because he's too tight to buy another one exactly so he's left here it's oh, the same one look at fred fred's looking the right cheese is all gone right listen i'm trying to find uh, them stars Listen, right, first of all, Miss Terry, oh, God, you're sticky, yeah. you're sweaty, smelly, you're sweaty. sweaty, Terry. I'm even sweatier. <laughs> hey, vodka he, sweat. He's had this for three weeks, so I've had it. I've had it. Oh, dearie. All right, mate. Did you, yeah, I bet, I you, oh, that's it, no more. Listen, we've got to get rid of this, get, get, get this one over very, very quick. Friday night, football night. Don't forget tomorrow live, 9.30 till 10.30 here in Laura's Bar. What tomorrow? Tomorrow is Saturday. Right, just check it. Yeah, tomorrow right. is Saturday. Today's Friday, quarter past seven. This is without, well, I've had a couple of Heineken. Have I? Yeah, I have. Let's see how I have. But we're having a bit of fun. It's Friday night football. Thank you to Foggy. Uh, subscribe to Webby Sports Roundup. It is what it is. We're going to have a bit of fun for the next half an hour or so, as long as these two don't chat about everything and anything. Right. We're going to kick off with the football from last week. We're just going to go through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, instead of putting everybody in, into the different leagues and whatever. We're going to confuse you, because these two confuse me all the time. We confuse ourselves. Yeah, we confuse ourselves. We're going to oh, kick yeah. off last week with a little bit of Premiership. Chelsea took on... Oh, God, hello. Here we go. Chelsea took on Tottenham Hotspur. What do you call them? Spuds. Spuds. <laughs> is that a bad word? Not, say, it's, no, not, it's a nice word. Oh, it's a nice word. It's okay. a nice word because there's worse words you can call them. Yeah, but you ain't going to do it today. No, I'm never no, going to no. do it. I don't we, do it no We more. love you, Foggy. Chelsea turned them up. I thought they were poor uh, Tottenham, weren't they? So they they'd given yeah. up. It's like they'd given up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they were going to win the league, weren't they? First 10 games of the season. Well, yeah. he, he's, he, he's still up for manager of the year. What? Yeah, but he ain't going to get it, is Big he? Big fat edge, he's still up for managing he ain't, the yeah, he, ain't, he might have got it Celtic, but he ain't going to get it tight. Right, that's 2 0. Ended up to uh, the Chelsea boys of Stanford Bridge. Um, we're going to move very, very quickly to Thursday night. It is the Conference European Cup. Now, Aston Villa were favourites, uh, six to four favourites. They went to Olympiakos at home, right? Took Olympiakos on, 2 0 down, 2 2. Ended up losing 4 2 yeah. at home last week. Yeah. Absolutely horrendous. No, no, no one, good. no one in their right mind, Fred says good. Oh, Fred says yeah, good. good. When he would, but no he... one in their right mind would have backed Olympiacos to win there. No, not for sure. No. I think having um, that missed penalty as well, that might have cost them that. I just, I just, I just don't see how they got beat home 4 right. 2. And to be honest with you, we've, we've, we've been asleep for 24 hours, so we don't know what. Well, you have, I ain't. Well, we don't know what it. last night's results were, do we? Last score's going to so, be. So, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're I've been sort... tired to this chair for two days. <laughs> we're tired. Sort... <laughs> we'll sort, we'll sort that out uh, tomorrow morning, <laughs> that's for sure. Right, uh, Luton took on Everton. One goal apiece. Yeah. Not much of a game. No. But nothing more to play for now, is it? Apart from Luton want to stay well, look, in Luton the Premiership. Luton need to stay up. Everton are safe. Yeah. Luton need to stay up. You would have thought Luton would have tried to turn them over. They was home. Second right. half, I thought Luton... Could have, could have got it, more. Know, could have got more out of it. Yeah. Uh, let's move on very, very quickly to the Division 1 playoffs. You've got Barnsley taking on Bolton. Um, do you know some? Uh, I did fancy Bolton, but they've gone there and beaten by three goals to one. Yeah, and Arthur's gone. Good luck to Arthur and Jack. Arthur's gone. He's gone, yeah. Oh, super. He's gone, to, he's, got, he's gone home to see the, the, the second leg. Right, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this on. Do I move it? Yeah, no, leave it. We'll leave it. Second leg coming on a little bit later, later on in the show. Yeah. Let's get back down to uh, the Premiership. Goon, you've been on for the weekend and yep. you went and watched Arsenal Bournemouth. You did a little video for me. That's yeah. going to go on tomorrow morning's show. And you beat <coughs> Bournemouth 3 0. Was it easy? I think it was easy, yeah. Penalty the first one? No. Clever? I, I, don't know, I don't even know if he's going to think he's far again. He's clever because he's obviously left his foot in. He knows the goal is coming. Yeah. He's left his foot there. But yeah. for me, definitely not a penalty, but I'll take it all day long. It was an easy win. I don't think they had a shot on target for quite too, quite late in the game. Yeah. I think they was they would have been happy with a point. Yeah, yeah sure. Bournemouth, you know, but no, we, we beat them easy. All right, so Arsenal three, Bournemouth now. Um Brentford took on Fulham. 
That was a bit of a boring nil nil draw. I never watched that. I, but, I, uh, never, no. I never saw none no. of it. None so, of it. so that was a nil. Let's move up to Turf Moor. Burnley taking on Newcastle, who's having a little bit of a run. And uh, Newcastle absolutely give them a bit of an idea. Yeah, but I, cool. I think that's it for Burnley now. I think yeah. if they if they won that. They had a chance. They, yeah. they would. Have, they would. Have, they would. Have, the crowd. Yeah. Uh, the impetus would have been with them. Yeah. I think that's it now. With Forest, obviously uh, yeah. winning the weekend. I think. I think. Unfortunately, Burnley have, yeah. have gone there. Let's go to Bramall Lane, where we already know that um, Sheffield United have been uh, relegated yeah. to the Championship. Forest went there and given their due. They needed the points. And they beat, uh, and they beat them by as well. three goals to one. Easy. Yeah, Forest played quite well against City the week before. Yeah, they did. That was unlucky. Chris, Chris Wood, Wood put two in, shouldn't he? If he never left his shooting boots at home. Yeah, they would have been tuning yeah. up. But second half, Man City, just they, it was like a I, Sunday morning I game. I still thought that City had another gear to move yeah, yeah. up 100%. into. 100%. 100%. Right. I, I think if, if Chris would scored them two goals, yeah. City would have scored four. Mm. Yeah, yeah, anyway, for sure. So. I think with the Burnley score, will Burnley lose and Forest winning? Yeah. And even though Forest are not getting their four points back, I think I think Forest are safe now. Well, I've got to say, we'll have a little discussion on a little bit later yeah. on this show. Let's go on to the Etihad on Sunday afternoon. Uh, Man City took on Wolverhampton Wanderers, and they actually gave them a bit of a pacing, didn't they? Five goals to one. Well, there's another one. I thought the first one were the penalty. Yeah. But the second penalty was definitely more of a shout than the other one. We was watching the pub after the Arsenal Pulver game. Yeah. We all met up up with metal with mates and that. And we watched that game in there. Right. And and that, that first penny, never. Worse no. than Arsenal's one. Right, before we move on to the Championship, let's just give you a rundown that uh, you're tuning into Webby Sports Roundup. If you've never seen us before, please subscribe. It is for free. Hit that like button and the notification button. Um, we've got here Terry, my number two, big Liverpool fan. And obviously Simon, he's my number three. He is a big gooner, as you can probably see with his shirt. Every week we're going quarter past seven on a Friday night, straight after Tim uh, goes on live with Living With MS in Tenerife, and I'm on there as well. And what we try and do, we're gonna try and move a lot of the customers, customers or viewers, or whatever you want to say, over to our Subscribers, viewers, subscribers, lovely whatever. people. Super, the best, want, yes. the best in town. Uh, we're gonna move on to the championship now. Now, if you're first or second, you win, obviously, in the championship, then you go up to the Premier League, Premier League, then you're going to get at least two hundred million pound. So it's really is that what it is this year? Yeah, 200 yeah, two hundred million. So let's go right through the uh, games very, very quickly. If, if uh, you've got to talk about this one, Dean, this is nothing to do with me. Okay, this is this is on his toes. Nothing to do with me. No, mate. I know. Well, well, I've gone from top to bottom, and obviously Birmingham taking on Norwich City. Yeah, but let's look at the Birmingham one, right? Yeah. I blame purely. Yeah, the owners, really? of the owners, uh, the owners of Birmingham, Birmingham City. City. When you think. John Eustace. Eustace had them six in the league. Yeah. Right, and all of a sudden the Americans started coming in. We want a big name. We, we you got big. You got a big, yeah. big lump in Wayne Rooney. Yeah, for sure. Right. Exactly. And he took them from six in the league in a yeah. playoff position. Yeah. Down to relegation. To twentieth. And yeah. obviously, obviously the other lads come in, couldn't keep them up. You just play the owners. <coughs> He's a good. I like John Eustace. I must admit, ex Coventry, uh, Watford. He's done super. such a good job as well. Yeah, he did. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a hole. Leroy uh, Senior's son. No, no, right. yeah. no listen, hang He's on. He's just got the bullet. Listen, I've got that down here at the bottom. I right? that. We'll do one at a time. Right, listen, Norwich City already in the playoffs, so they just took the foot off the gas. It yeah. ended. Birmingham still won the game, but with other results going against them, still they've got, got relegated. relegated to Division yeah. 1, and hopefully now the owner's going to put the money where the mouth is. Etc. Et well, Etc. Stadium, new players. Well, they did Let's the money with Rooney. They did the money with Rooney. I so I don't know if they'll put All right, any more second money. Second game, my boys Coventry, twenty nine and a half thousand were there. Took on QPR. Uh, one of your good pals, Mesh. Oh, mate, I bet he, I bet he give you a bit of stick. He, didn't he? He, no, he didn't. He, he, he was superb. He the was. Black cab driver. Yeah, go on the arse. Yeah, go, go on the arse. I the, saw the, the bloke who's got a pull bar and lost Chris on Saturday. Yeah. And as I walked in, he's going, "Get in there." I went, "What's that?" And he showed me his thing. He went, six hundred and fifty six quid. I went, "What's that for?" He went. I bet on QPR to beat Leeds and Coventry. And if you go two, you up, yeah. pay out, don't yeah. yeah, gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Two yeah. clear goals. Yeah, got six, two clear 600 goals. quid. So anyway, Coventry City be back. We just got to keep our um, existing players. Ben Sheaf, uh, they're looking at 15 million, one or two ex clubs. Arsenal. Yeah, ex Arsenal. He was at Doncaster on on oh, loan. No. Uh, but the other thing is, I'll talk about um, Jokeres from Sporting Lisbon a little bit. You're not late. getting him back, are you? No, no. You got 80 million, have you? No, no. We have, but <laughs> not in that way. Ipswich Town, second in the league. Obviously, they got promoted. Unbelievable. They beat Huddersfield 2 0 They've done an absolute phenomenal job. The Portman Road boys. Uh, the guy in charge. McKenna. Yeah, okay. he, they got a Division One into the into yeah. the Premier League. Phenomenal. He, he, he will definitely million percent get management here. For sure, got him. 
He's got, I, I don't know if he's got it because yeah, the ex Man yeah, City boy, the, the Leicester manager, he won it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he ain't going to get the accolades. No, super. To what McKenna's done. Let's go up to Ellen Road where Leeds United took on Southampton. I oh, think dirty Leeds. It's, it's their own fault, I think, to be honest with you. They've got no one else to blame, just themselves. No, just themselves. But is he relevant that game anyway, weren't it? Because they're both yeah. in the playoffs. It's a yeah. dead rubber. It's a dead yeah, rubber, yeah, as yeah. I like to call it. So it ended up Leeds 1, Southampton 2. We're off to Leicester City to the Filbert Street. Or the Champions or the war. irrelevant. Yeah, so. so they was on holiday, weren't they? They was already on holiday. Yeah. When they played that game, they was already on holiday. Taking on Blackburn Rovers. Did Smodic score? Did Smodic score any goals? Sammy Smodic, sure. did he score? Not sure. He'll go to a big club. Let's go up to Borough. Kevin's happy with this. They took on Watford and beat them by three goals to one. They've actually gone in front of Coventry in the league. They had a fantastic... About time Smoggy won, won a game. They won three on the bounce. They, they had a good <laughs> end of the season. Plymouth Argyle down the home park down the south coast in Devon. They took on Hull City. Well, they needed to get points to yeah, the they did. Didn't they? And they beat Hull City 1-0. You know? So while we're on Hull City, Plymouth, we'll discuss this very, very quickly. Leroy Senior has got them into the playoffs. Absolutely done a superb job there. And the owner said, You're being sacked. He doesn't. I'm That's his dad. It's Liam. Liam Senior. Yeah. Beg your pardon. Leroy Senior is one of the Leroy, Leroy's the dad. Yeah. West Ham. Now, yeah. But the point in question is, I listened to the owner yesterday on Sky Sports. Yeah. Um, I think he's, he's the Asian, he's, the Asian yeah, lad. Asian, yeah. And to be honest with you, he just said they didn't like the way he played football. Uh, very oh, dif they, they very defensive. Like, near the bottom of the league. Yeah, I know. Got them three points off the playoffs. Yeah. Um, maybe yeah. another two, three weeks they might have got into the playoffs. And, he's speaking, and even if they won yeah. that game uh, uh, four, uh, uh, five, six, seven nil. But who's going to take his who place? Are they looking at? I looked today on BBC oh, Sport. Um, I can't remember whose name's been flying, but someone's name's been flying yeah, about. I saw that as well. Yeah, I th no, I th there was one head in my. Uh, German fella. Yeah, I think of it. Anyway, let's move on. Stoke City, Bet365 took on Bristol City. That was a non rubber. Uh, Stoke gave him a bit of a high. Dead rubber. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not that, a non rubber, non dead rubber. Right, dead rubber, right. What's Keep, that, get it right, man. Yeah. Rotherham right. had a little win. Oh, Rod yeah, I forgot Rotherham. Yeah, Rotherham. I was out, we was out with Rotherham John last night, weren't we? Oh, yeah. We was out with him last night, Rotherham John. Lovely fella. They beat Cardiff by five at goals to two. Obviously, they're relegated, bottom of the table. Suddenly, the Mackhams took on Sheffield Wednesday. We've got a lot of Sheffield Wednesday fans. Good, good pals. Yeah, you're right. Mike. Crowd, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Tim, that's Sunday. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, Tim Walter. Right. Tim Walter yeah. is being... Candidate linked, for a link with Leroy, the whole Leroy city. Rosina's job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can get Julie Waters. She might do a good yeah, job. Exactly, the scarcer. <laughs> but the Sunderland, pin dipper. Our, our friend Mike, I did tell yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Right, Mike or Bill? Yeah. You want him now? No. Right, calls him a trainer or whatever. He, if she's a polite word. Yeah. When they got rid of him, they were four points off the playoff positions. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. how many points they finished yeah. outside the playoff positions? Yeah, gotcha. Okay. So sometimes. Don't wish for things because it's gone the other way with them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, All right, so we end up Sunderland Neil, Sheffield Wednesday too. Big shout out to uh, Liam, uh, good good pal of my uh, son Lee. So, morning Liam, how are you? or good evening Liam, how are you, son? All the gang from North Tenerife, man, they're all big Sheffield Wednesday. To Scott, to Lee, around the grounds, his own YouTube channel. Uh, and obviously Denise, they're all massive Sheffield Wednesday. And a big shout out to Ian Owl, who's an even bigger Sheffield Wednesday fan. So well done to you lot, you're in the championship for another season. Swansea will go down to uh, South Wales, took on Millwall. Now Millwall, I don't know if, I didn't think they were that clever, but they've won the last five on the bounce. Yeah. They've had a cracking run. But, yeah, because Coventry, we went there and we gave them a bit of an idea, three goals but to you are, you are You asked your, our mate, Millwall John. Yeah, yeah. Right, he yeah. bet them at the yeah. start of the season. He, he kept betting being them. A, being a top four, top six, top seven. Let me just check, keep talking. You know, top four, top seven. And, and, and I'm sorry, they, they're just not good enough. I know Dino's going to say that they've got two midfielders. Dino keeps talking about, you know, our mate Dino, the black cab driver. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He always talks about, right, they got a midfielder called Billy Mitchell. He said the Billy yeah. Mitchell and yeah. EastEnders will be better than the Billy Mitchell that plays for Millwall. Well, you all know, that's my good pal. I spoke to him last week. He wasn't, a, great, he wasn't a happy bunny last week at West Ham, that's for sure. Not a happy Let's go hammer. down to uh, the baggies of West Bromwich Albion. They took on Preston North End, who were in the playoffs just on the edge of it. And they've had a real bad, bad run, Preston. Yeah. Always do bad against them, Coventry. But the baggies... They're big, they're tough, they're strong. Yeah, they've they got a good chance in the playoffs. They're, yeah, they're in the playoffs, they're beaten by they three they goals. They've got a good chance. At the Hawthorns. They sort of sneaks in the playoffs. Yeah, they do, the yeah. Up, yeah, exactly, so. exactly. Right, let's move on very, very quickly. If you've just joined the channel. Why very, very quickly? What's the rushing for? Keep very, very quickly in everything. Because what... Look, what's the rush? What a, are you on a promise? promise? No, no, what yeah. happens so, is... What's up with your old man? Yeah. No, what happens is when you make the programme 
too long. Elongate, people turn off. They do. So we're trying to well, get it. Well, if you go over there and leave me and Terry to do it, yeah. it'd be sweet. They yeah, won't turn off, will they? Fred, well, get some top talking, starts. He's talking this again, If you get Fred. some topless starts, get what I mean. yep. they'll stay there and carry on watching he's, it, he's wouldn't you, Roy? A, he's got carry on watching it, wouldn't well, you, mate? Well, well, he's looking at topless darts now, isn't he? Right. Do you know what I mean? Let's move on to Division 1 playoffs. Oxford United <laughs> against Peterborough at the Kassam Stadium. Shut it. Kassam Stadium. Well, we First, missed that game. Me and you was watching the other yeah, yeah, game, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we were watching it. Because Jason, we were sat in front of that and Jason yeah. turned it off. <laughs> I know, yeah. Oh, Jason. And Oxford came out one goal to nil winners. Did they win? Uh, they won 1 0. And last night. They drew 1-1 at Peterborough, so Oxford United won 2-1 on aggregate, yeah, right. and they're off to Wembley. I thought Peterborough might have done them, personally, the posh. So Peterborough are going, up, going to Wembley, No, Oxford Oxford, are. Wow. Oxford Oxford won one at home, drew 1-1 one, one away. Wow. Uh, yeah, who they so who are they playing? One Wednesday night, they drew 1-1 one, one Wednesday night. Who are they playing? Uh, but, 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 um, Bolton. Bolton. Oh, Arthur, I like that. They so lost at home 2-3 to Barnsley. Yeah, yeah, on Wednesday night, they yeah. drew... He, yeah. went, he went to that yeah, half, he went to the game. But uh, a big, big shout to my mate Chris, a big Barnsley season ticket holder. Sorry, Chris. Uh, but I think they were the fourth favourites out of the four of the playoff yeah. teams. And Bolton were the favourites. So they're in the final. Bolton against Oxford United. I can only see that going one way. But yeah. in a final, yeah. you never, never know. Um, Premiership again. Um, Brighton took on the Villa. No one expected that, did they? Beaten 1-0. No, no, no one expected that. I thought the Villa might have got some out of that, to be honest with you. And, and I'll tell you what. I know we, we, we're not giving everyone the team's airtime that they deserve, but it weren't a great game, no. number one, right? And you, for me, the, 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 the main point of that game yeah. was I would have thought the Spuds would have turned up at Liverpool because yeah. they know the result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have thought they're going to turn up here, they're going to get a bit of, a bit of impetus. Well, they turn up, but... They didn't they turn didn't, up. No, no. What he's, what he's they, talking, they were still at the services. Yeah. Yeah, what he's talking keen, about is obviously... They keen services. <laughs> Man City and Arsenal are looking to win the league. <laughs> Liverpool are going to be third. It's that fourth place for the Champions League. Oh, yeah, we're only 751 to win the league still. Yeah. Okay, exactly. It's Villa, it's worth, worth a pound? Yeah. Can I have a say, please? Yes, Thank sir. You. Sorry. And the Villa and Tottenham are fighting out for fourth place. So what uh, Simon well, saying... Well, if it was a fight, it'd be stopped by now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. So Villa obviously loses it, Brighton, so you think Tottenham will come out the gate. Yeah. It, and we'll talk about it in a couple of minutes. Like. So it ended up Brighton 1, Villa 0. Chelsea hammer, Chelsea against West Ham United, the Hammers. There's lots we can talk about that. Unreal. Unreal. I, th I watched little bits of it. I kept turning over, and to be honest with you, I was embarrassed for the West Ham fans watching it. It's terrible. I thought they were absolutely horrendous. They really, I haven't really... even, I haven't even messaged Sean to talk about it, because I was away. But I'd like to get his take on that. Yeah, for sure. Because I've never seen David Moyes come out and, 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 and curse them players. He's always took it on the chin. I think it's coincided with the fact that obviously... He's leaving. I think David Moyes would have walked into the season anyway. Yeah, for sure. Because I think what he's done at West Ham... Three, he can't take him no further, can three he? Three years of European football, won a trophy. Yeah. Right? They're not going to get European football this year. So or next. So, no, no, no. So, and I can see a big clear out. I can yeah, yeah, see Jack sure. Yeah, yeah. Kudus, um, Alvarez. Kudus possibly go in. Alvarez, yeah. M3 at I'll least. I'll have Kudus. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take, definitely. Right, I can see them three going. There's going to be a rebuild. I think their back four is absolutely... But I you know, know what, Tell, what, what we were talking about last night, me, Fred and Roy was... On if, Wednesday, yeah. It, 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 sorry, on Wednesday, if they if they sell Kudus, yeah. Paqueta and yeah. Alvarez, right? Yeah. That might generate, I don't know, 80, well, say, call it 200 million. Yeah. They're going to have to go and buy five players for that money. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to buy 40, quality, 40 million you can't buy five players anymore for that money. For You've just got million. to buy three again. They've got to go and spend that 200 million on three players. They've got to have some good scouting, haven't they? They, they really, really have. Some, yeah, yeah, they have. It's like, it's like, have you seen that video, the Moyes interview after that game? And, I didn't uh, see. And, and, and the interviewer says to him, well, can you give me a reason of why you've been losing these games or that? And he just says Declan Rice. He just said it right there, is it, is it Declan, live TV, yeah. Declan Rice. Yeah, gotcha. When you lose a player of that calibre, he said, who, who shores up the defence, dictates, yeah. he, he dictates the a play, play everything yeah. goes through him. He said, that's what we're missing. Well, I thought Ward Price was the man to take over. He was, they, he was Total bought, different position for he was me. Bought, I know, but he was still there. He bought off for 40 million from but Southampton. he's been on the bench a bit recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know he's yeah. dead, doesn't he? That's for sure. It makes you wonder. But can I just say... Let me away the free kicks and the set plays. Yeah, yeah. Has he done a great deal this No, he hasn't. No, that's no, right. No. no. So, obviously, Moyes is leaving. The guy who's coming to take his place 
Lopateku. Yeah, is that, is that been confirmed? Well, not, not, not been confirmed. No, he's not been confirmed. Now, he, now, Ron, big West Ham Ron, he says, what do you want him for? Yeah, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have him. No, because he was at Wolverhampton Wanderers yeah. and, he, and he got sat there. What about, said, when, what, he got, what, what about what? when he got sacked halfway through the World yeah. Cup? So what's he, yeah. so what's he well, done? the Euros he got done sacked. Nothing. Yeah. That's strange, that one. Isn't it? Because he went to talk to Real Madrid while yeah. he was Spain manager. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They sacked him. Yeah. So he did. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a funny one. Right, let's move on quickly to um, let's go to Anfield. Liverpool take that's your mum taking on uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Who? And, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> take right, your All right, you, you you say it, not me. Spuds. Take on the spuds, mate. I think the, that one now. It was it say was, that T word on live TV when I'm in your company. We're not going to finish higher than third. No. And we weren't going to finish lower than third anyway. Yeah, yeah. But. The only thing I was disappointed with, really, was when we went sort of 4 0 up half back. You wanted more, minutes. didn't you? You want more, you get hungry, you want more. They were there to be thump six or seven. Yeah, yeah you yeah. want more. Seriously. But then Klopp made a few changes. Yeah, he did. And they got two two, two quick goals. But why didn't that Richarlison start? Don't tell me he was it's injured. Because he's a chicken. Yeah, but he came on, he scored. But that's crap. Yeah, but the well, he does all that when he yeah, scores. But, yeah, but chicken. He made crap. Crap. But Tottenham needed to score. 60, needed to go win. 60 million quid. And, they, and now they're listening to offers. Yeah. Not, they need to go win that game. But when he came on, he looked he, he looked sharp, didn't he? Yeah, but he's a, he's, he's, a he's sub. sharp. He's a sub he, 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 He's an impact player. Okay, all right. Who's going to be there next season? All right. Who's going to spend? Yeah, they won't. They'll take a loss on him. Yeah, if okay. Son signs another deal, I think he'd be a mug as well. Mate, this is why Brazil don't win trophies these days, because you've yeah. got people like Richarlison yeah. Yeah. for Brazil as their number nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah So sure. yeah. I guess that's why. But all in all, three points. I'm just What I did like about that was, even though Klopp's obviously leaving, yeah. he brought a young lad on, Barisic. I ain't played for near on a year. Good yeah. player. He come on. The one who had the knee injury. Yeah, good he, player. he's going to be a very good player. But he very come good on player. and obviously didn't get into the game quick. They scored two goals. After the game, he's there talking to him, not for yeah. the cameras, but yeah. generally talking to him. Yeah. He's still, you know, that's a good manager, that is. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know what you he, mean. He don't have to do the talking. No. He's leaving. Yeah. I ain't got to no. talk. He was still, you know, exactly. his arm around him. Said to him, you messed up on that one. I like yeah. all that. Yeah, but he's, yeah. A, he's a proper manager, but isn't he? Spurs, I look at Spurs, and I'll tell you one thing, I worry for them. Yeah. I worry for them next season, because obviously our friend, the financial fair play thing, which apparently does exist, they spent a lot of money recently, Spurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they've yeah. got good money for Harry Kane, right? And whether they've but got a clause they can bring Harry Kane back, whether Harry Kane wants to stay in Germany okay. for another season, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But you look at that Spurs team, considering the start of the season, they were Keep saying, at end was saying, we can win the league this year. Yeah, definitely. They're so far off the top three. They're, listen, I, I, I think they're so far off the top four. Yeah. If they're still seven points behind Villa, you know, and Villa, and Villa are new to this. Yeah, yeah. So once Chelsea get going, I still think Chelsea need another season. I think the season yeah, after yeah, next, yeah, I think they'll right. come good. But Chelsea, though, you watch them and you think, the team that got thumped by you, what, 6-0, weren't it? 5-0, yeah. 5-0. And then you see them, like, thump West Ham. Yeah. And you just can't... Yeah, and they're on a run, though, aren't they? They're, they're on a run. They're today, are Chelsea, for yeah. me, because okay. the team right. turns up. Let's move on to Sellers Park. Um, Good pal, Alan Fernandez was there. He sent me a couple of messages. Why don't we move on to Salah? Yeah, Park? yeah. They they took on Man United. I'll tell you the what, another, another, <laughs> another, another uh, embarrassing game. Oh, we watched it the three or three. I'll be. What are we watching? It was Sunday morning You're football. A very good Palace team. Yeah, is that Richard? I a can't good believe team. the transition from what Roy was doing with Palace to what Glasson has done. Yeah, I mean, he done a cracking job at Frankfurt. Yeah. Do you know what? He's a sort of manager that you think he'd be good for Man United. Well, no, we said it off air. Wet yeah. Spam. Come here. Yeah. You really would have thought, right, that Wet Spam would have gone in for something like that. Mm. Because this guy, he knows his football. Yeah, yeah. And, and, they played, and they played against them last year in that European trophy. So you'd have thought Wet Spam would have gone and got him. Yeah. And, and now they've sat back and now he's gone. I can't, I can't see him keeping them, but Eze and Elise, right? Yeah. If they kept them two... Yeah. Fit. ...and one or two additions, yeah. they could be challenging for European football Yeah, you know, I, think you're, I think you're right. Yeah, they, did look, they did look good. Because anyone who had the money, if, if you could spend 120 million on two players, you'd buy yeah. them, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, 100%. You'd buy them, They're both you? injury prone, aren't they? That's the only thing. Yeah. The 60 million quid price tag is a bit heavy. Mm. He's a bit heavy. He's like the Alexander Isak one, 100 million. Yeah. He's injury prone. He's got hip, knee. And it's the club he's as well. He's got shoulder. He's got three problems, Alexander Isak. Don't you, don't you Isak, think, though, know? because they're at Palace, if they were at Arsenal or what have you... They've been be, at Arsenal. No, oh, no, no, what I mean is... We let them go. But, no, Stupid no, club. No, listen to me. I Sometimes. Understand what, but what I'm saying, some, yeah, what I'm saying, if, if they're 40, 50 million now, 
if they were at Arsenal, or, or even say another yeah, they, club, they'd be eight hundred million. That's what that's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's 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 just what like Goicares. But United, just they like did have Goicares, eighty-six million. I'm not, I'm not just like Goicares, eighty-six million. I'm not giving. I'm not giving because he ain't down the dog and duck. I'm not giving. He's 86 million quid. I'm Arsenal, not giving it. Arsenal, Arsenal had an offer the other week. They got laughed out the door, 70 million. They got laughed out the door. But yeah. you said this. You warned me. Yeah. He will not be sold for less than 85 and million and pounds. No. Well, I don't want him for that money. That man. He ain't that good. The Portuguese league ain't that great, mate. I'm sorry. What do you think the manager wants to leave? Let me tell you something about you. This man is phenomenal. I watched him score 22 goals for Coventry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't matter. I'll watch him. And I'm, I'm a player watcher like you. Yeah. And I can see one or two goals he did now. Two or three players behind him, took him on, beat them. He goes for everything. Corner, corner, number nine. But he's not proven in any top league, is he? Sporting from... Lisbon. I know. They won, the, they, won the they won the league. They won the league. Then you've got Benfica and Porto. Yeah, he scored that, 40 yeah. goals. He's got most assists. It's the best goal scorer and assist. Yeah, but it's the number Portuguese nine. league. Yeah, There's three teams. Now, right, you're, you're right. talking about Absolute crap. If he's going for You're talking you, absolute crap. If he's going crap. for 80 million quid, yeah. only one team will pay that. Who's that? Man United. Man United. Well, Guaranteed. Well, we'll let him up. Let right him, up their street. I'll make a phone call to him so I know his manager. They and they can go there. Down, don't they? Like Anthony, 80 million man. Listen, listen, me, you two pair. Anthony, 100 million quid, right? Yeah. And on 200 grand a week. Yeah, I know. Right? You Marshall, got the list. Marshall ain't even playing. No, I know. Two fifty a week. I know. You've got the list, and haven't you? And he cost you? fifty-nine million quid. Yeah, I know. I know. Casemiro. I What's your right, sir? What's your right? He was signing for Man City when he went there. I think he thought he was signing he's, for Man City. He's the highest-paid footballer at Man United football club. Three hundred fifty grand. Three hundred fifty grand per calendar. Not, him, a, central, not a central defender, though, is he? No. Him, Varane. No. Him, Varane. Yeah. And Rashford. Yeah. Million get a million pound a week. Yeah, no. A million pound a week. I know. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's, it's gone there. Yeah. Right, listen, let's, let's move crazy. on. You've had the, the stats. Division two playoffs. You've got Crew Alexander taking on Doncaster, who's won 11 games on the bounce. 12, they go eh? Eight, 12 now. They've gone a crew and beat them I'm and beat them by two I'm goals. They'll go through now, won't they? That's the Reading Mike struck. Absolutely oh, brilliant. They'll go through now. Right? Yeah. I reckon this could be the biggest betting scandal in history. Why? The reckon, geezer, the bet. I reckon the owner or the manager said to them, lads, let's play pony all season. Yeah. And what we do, we're a good team. <laughs> we all put a wedge on, we bet 365, and we win every game. Have you heard about that bet three? <laughs> don't advertise, don't advertise, Frank City. A fella, mm. don't cast a fella, has had a bet, right? Halfway through the season, they're right at the bottom, they cannot buy a win. He's had a bet for them to finish in the top seven. What's he had? Tell what was the bet he had? I'm not sure. He had a lump of dough, yeah. he had a lump of dough to them to finish in the top seven, and they pissed it. Sorry. Well, they won. They, 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 they're now in the playoffs. They won 11 of the last it's league like games. Thousands, he's won. Yeah, Absolute yeah. thousands. Right, let's move on. We, we know Division 1, we said that. Uh, Barnsley have lost to Bolton. Bolton's in the final against Oxford United. Trotters. Division, Division 2. Oh, yeah, the, by that result, yeah, Division 2. We've got Crawley Town taking on MK Dons. That was uh, first leg. Yeah, and Crawley beaten by three goals to. First who's, leg. Who's the guy that who was on TV that played for him? Good looking lad. Uh, who? Crawley Town. He played for them. Played a few games for them. It's not Rob Edwards, is it? Your boyfriend? No, no, no. Uh, oh, no, don't, bring, <laughs> don't bring him in. No, his girl, um, was she on his standards or one of you? Oh, I know, I know you mean. I Pritchard, mean, very, you mean. He played for Celtic. Man City, Frank Sinclair, uh, not Frank, Scott Sinclair. Sinclair. Scott Sinclair. No, 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 no. Well, English lad, Flanagan. only about five foot eight. Which um, race boy? My colour. Yeah. Scott, no, yeah. no. Scott Sinclair, what's well, your colour? What's your colour? Mixed race. Caramel, black. No, he's not. No, he's not. No. He no. played for Celtic, no. Man City, no, Chelsea. No. no, not Scotch. No, no, he no. He was at Helen Flanagan. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. No, that's, that's Street. Actually, no, it's another one. Off, off air, we'll, I'll discuss it, I'll tell you. I was more impressed with the it. goalkeeper, Crawley. Played what? I saw a little bit. On loan? No, on loan? See what he did. Oh, the, the, the big race fella again, yeah. mixed race. <laughs> when he caught, trapped the ball. Yeah. What a, what a but he brilliant. Watching it, no, he? no. I mean, right, listen, you two. <laughs> Short, run out of breath hey. for two minutes. Right, let's move on to the champion. Like die? Yeah, no, <laughs> no. You if got. You run out of breath, I, you die. I need you for another show. So keep going, so keep, <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Right, the Champions League. Let's move on to the Champions League uh, before we got. No, we're not in it. No, I don't care no. about it. Who cares? <laughs> we got PSG. We got out. PSG Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund, unbelievable. One oh. nil. One nil. Uh, do you know what? I made up one cheating Arab team is not going to win the European. One Cup, yeah. cheating Arab. You yeah. are a right pair of muppets. You. Well, well, there's more than one cheap yeah. and narrow team, isn't there? There's a well, couple. Who, who? Name City, them. Man City. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just playing PSG. PSG. I'm made up for Newcastle. Newcastle. Shall I go on? Dortmund, proper team, proper fans. Yeah. 
But they, I never saw the game, but I was been told that uh, they shouldn't no, have we won. Both, we spoke about it, didn't we, the other night? Yes, we had 30 it, shots the in, we in, spoke the, about in the post, it. the bar and everything. Don't matter, mate. Only yeah. one thing. Yeah, if if Bappe yeah, thought okay. he was going out of the agree. season of glory. He right, was listen, going out of the season of nothing. Wednesday night, we're all down the uh, three or shoes. In my little manner, we saw Real Madrid take on Bayern Munich. Harry Kane, number nine. Good game of football, that. For the first 18 minutes, it, 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 there was not a lot happening, was 80, there? 80, did you say? Yeah, the first 80. Yeah, but it, was, it was end to end. Yeah. Right, if you said to me that game will finish with two strikers who used to play for Stoke City, City on yeah. the pitch, I would have laughed at you. Exactly. He couldn't get a game at Newcastle. Davis that's what I said, is that what I said to Fred last night? This fool, Hosselu, was yeah. at Newcastle yeah. and he, he flopped. When they bought him on... Well, Stoke yeah. flopped him to Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle old, old flopped him. Old Motam, he couldn't... Motam true promoting, yeah, true promoting, yeah. What his yeah. name is. But what about the injury time? They said nine minutes and they were still playing in 14. They had to because... Because when when that goal went in, yeah. they had an the, apology, in there. That they, all they? their players ran on the pitch. Got you, yeah. All their players yeah, ran on the did. pitch. Yeah, they did. And then they had to go to VAR. Yeah. So they all come off the pitch. Yeah. Then when VAR give it, they yeah. all come back on the pitch again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An apology today or after the game Who has? yesterday. Uh, Bayern really? Munich. Because Bayern Munich scored a goal. Apparently they put the flag up already. Um, in injury, so 13 minutes into injury time. Yeah. And when they've looked at it, apparently they weren't they, offside. If, no, they, so let it it work, they should have let it go and the oh. referee went in after and apologised and said, oh, dear me. Stadium. Oh, dear so, me. Wow, so it would have gone extra time. Simon, I told uh, you that yeah. last night it was an offside. Yeah, yeah. And, I told you that. and now they've said they've given an apology. With an well, you can't score elbow, wouldn't it? Roy picked out. Roy said it was his elbow. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. can't score with your elbow. The thing is, though, he's the ref who done the Champions League final two years ago. He's supposed yeah. to be one of the best refs yeah. so in he's, European football. He's Lionel, but apparently the Real Madrid players stopped when the light banged the ball in. Yeah. But I don't know. Anyway, at the end of the, end, <laughs> the, end of the day... It's Harry done. Kane, yeah. End of the day, Harry Kane's going to another trophy. No that's trophy right, again, and he goes. So we've got a Dortmund hey. against uh, Real Madrid. Hey. No trophy with Mr Kane again. And Real Madrid will Nothing. be favourites. He's got a cannon for the best goal scorer. In yeah, the highest goal scorer. He's got a nice big fat cannon. Yeah. Well done, Harry. Up the I'll, I'll just put a bit of news down there, which obviously we've discussed already. Yocker is, um, obviously... Um, you just want him sold, didn't you? You just yeah. want him sold till you get the money. Come yeah. to get about 15 million sell-on well, fee. Are you sure your bloke's done the sell-on clause? Is it clause? 10% the sell-on clause? How much is it? 15%? Tell us how much it is. Tell you enough, sir. Because yeah, you're involved. You're, you're involved. I can't discuss it. I can't discuss it. He's somebody got a share in it, tell. Oh, sorry. Do you know what I mean? If you're the owner of Coventry, you're sitting there speaking Sweaty. to your secretary again. Oi, John. It's going to go. It's going to go. deal done, yeah? When we sold him, you sure you put a clause in? Yeah. I think so. Can you two do yourself a Has that deal done yet? Can you do yourself a favour, you two, and give it a rest, all right, for two minutes? Your careers will be going. We get between 10 and 15%. I You're don't right. know what the figure That's is. Right. Yeah, nobody's just guaranteed. Yeah. No differ. It's like with yeah. Hammer. Hammer obviously went there from to Sheffield United. Um, obviously you can have him back now. Play, playing Premiership football. But now, yeah, season. but now no, no, he's gonna go, I think, for 15 million. Whether I'm assuming there's a sell-on clause uh, with Hammer as well. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, the other thing we were talking about was obviously um, Nottingham Forest. Um, they appealed against the four points that they've lost but they've lost the appeal. It doesn't matter. They're going to stay, obviously, in the uh, Premier League. It's down to the bottom clubs, obviously. Sheffield United are gone. Yeah. Burnley, and nearly Luton. Gone. And those two, look... I think they're all, them three are gone. Bowen is an absolute disaster. Yeah, for sure. And Forrest that'd, be, that'd be all the, all the three that come up, would it? All the three that come up gone straight yeah. back yeah. down. And the other little bit of news was, obviously, Fiorentina beat Bruges on a two-legged affair in the Conference Cup. Uh, they're going to be either taking on Olympiacos is that, or, is that or, to or the Aston Villa. What's that, the... Is that similar to the Milk Cup, the European Conference? Yeah. Or the Littlewoods Cup? No, the Milk, milk Cup was the, no, no, was the it, League it, Cup. Is it yeah. similar? Yeah, it's the third. In stature. It's, it's, similar in yeah, stature. Yeah, you're probably right, isn't you? Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. It's done. Dusted. Friday night, quarter past seven. Well, we've where are we going the... now? Down the pub? <laughs> we're we're going to talk about... Um... We're going down right, listen, the pub. Right, listen, we're going to put on the league. Right, yeah, because obviously Terry, yes. uh, Terry's got uh, offline... Or off, off air. No, yeah, we've, had a, yeah, we've had a chat. We've had a chat about it. And you want to say something about I this? I want Terry to put this out there. Put this out. Well, do you no, want, no, can no, I get you talk? I'm going to the coffee. No, no, I'm fine, honestly. Yeah, right, Cafe yeah. Con Lecce, uh, Colombian beans, please. You carry on talking. I'll have my lunch. I don't, them, I don't want them free trade beans. I want the proper ones that have been yeah. picked by peasants. Come on. You sort it out. <laughs> now, what we're talking about earlier right. was rumour has it a oh, yeah, very strong rumour going round that City will get away with 115 charges. Yeah. All of them. Rumour has it. On now, basis of? 
Well, we've heard the thing out, man, haven't we? Apparently, a lot of the, uh, the, the FA and City are employing extra security. So when this decision comes out in a few weeks' time, they're expecting a bit of, bit of aggro. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Yeah, but Terry, how can they tell long, radio yeah, long stations, long right? Yeah, all right, yeah. How can they tell radio stations, right, that you've got to stop talking about it and tell bloggers, vloggers, whatever you want to call us, YouTube people, that they've got to stop talking about it. it it's called a cease and de cease and desist notice or something right. that they're giving these people because they don't want you to talk about it. They want you to stop talking about it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But you, me and you had a chat the other day and you come out with something that I think is a great idea. Well, let's face it, the Premier League consists of 20 teams. Right. right? You can't run a, a league unless you've got 20 teams in it. Right. Simple as that. Yeah. So surely the other teams must be on onto the Premier League, if not on a daily or at least a weekly basis, saying, what's going on, right? Are City guilty? Are they not guilty? Let's get it all sorted once and for all. I think the only way it's going to get sorted in the foreseeable future is if the other 19 teams just turned around to the Premier League and said, we're not playing. Yeah. Next season, we're not going to play. Exactly. And the Premier League, what are they going to do? Find all the teams? Or, find or, them all. Or a one-game uh, boycott or something of that nature? But, well, no, it's, there's no point doing a one-game a one game webby because if they're going to get away with the 115 charges, right, like I just said, right, they're telling vloggers like yourself, you're not allowed to talk about it no more. See, if you don't stop, we'll just get you shut down, is what they're did, trying did, to say. Are you going to no. get shut down? No. We've got so our topless dance channel going, stop talking folks, about it. shut down. It's outrageous. Yeah, no. <laughs> Terry seems to think, well, we all seem to think they're going to get away with it. 115 charges. Yeah, yeah. It's just not on. So the boycott... If every club, 19 clubs, said, you know what, we're not going to play, like Terry said, we're not going to play in the Premier League, you give them, you give them the trophy like you've done the last four years, just give it to them then. Yeah, yeah. The last three years, and maybe hopefully not this one. Just give it to them. And we're not going to play no more because we can't compete. No, sure, you can't. No, can't sure. compete, mate. Yeah. It's like having a horse race and a handicap. They give them a handicap because yeah. they know it's going to be across the line, you know, it's, every horse exactly. exactly. But Webby, other teams like Forest and Everton, they've yeah. been dealt with, in my opinion, and even Leicester. Quickly. Right? Yeah. But it's going to be interesting with Chelsea. Because obviously, as you know, Chelsea have got, by the 30th of June, to basically get a £100 million net yeah. in their account. Yeah. If not, they're going to be charged, right? Yeah. So who's going to pay, I don't know, 50 million for Conor Gallagher will Reese James go because they're the only two yeah. homegrown talents that, that they can that, generate that is pure profit for few, even if they sold Lukaku tomorrow for 50 million right it, they paid more than that for him didn't they yeah they so paid 99 that, million like, yeah, that's that's still, right, yeah. that is still a massive massive yes. loss because that 50 million don't count as one penny towards no. the 100 million no they'll be down another 40 it's, it's, I don't know mate it's strange but um, if the rumour is true that they are going to get away of it then why weren't this done and dealt with Beforehand, yeah, yeah. So, Nine years it's been going okay, on. Okay, superb. Listen, that's, that's a great um, comment on Bridget Gosh there. Uh, before, and I, I'm sorry, I'd like the viewers to give us their opinion I'm gonna bring, on, on, on that. I'm going to bring your pal um, Fred on. Fred, you know, sit on here. Sit on there. Did you hear that convo? Terry, Fred, oh, nice mate, one of my best nice mates. Who do you support? I'm a goon. Okay. This is, guy. obviously, this is Fred. Uh, this nice is one of uh, you speak, you this is uh, one of Simon's best mates from back home. I thought we'd just get him on for a couple of minutes so we can give his little bit of an input of on the, how the show goes and uh, his football club and so forth. So go on, Simon. Did it's you hear a, that interview, conversation? Just interview now? Him. Yeah, I did. Right um, about that. Right a, a, about teams getting bo boycotted in the league. I can see where you're coming from, and it is a good idea. But you know it's not going to happen because of TV rights. Because no one's got the balls. It's not only the balls, Simon. It's the TV rights. TV own football. Now. Yeah, yeah. They give out every club in the Premiership fortunes. So what you're saying is, but well, we ain't going to play football this season. You've got no television rights. They're going to go really. We ain't got no money. Then yeah, for next clubs, season or the season clubs, after, you watch clubs get, jump back in. Get a little bit, well, it's not jumping back in, Simon. It goes skin. Yeah. Because they need that money. But, 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 you're 100% right. Yeah. I think it's a libby. 115 charges for seven years and nothing's been But what done. are they going to do, though, Fred? Nothing, Simon. Just, just get away with it. Just let them get away with it. It's a multi-billion pound club. Well, I was, where the, where the, the people were brought go, here's some more money, here's some more money. I was, I was out in Bergamo the other week watching us play against uh, Atalanta and I got talking to a lad who's quite clued up and he said the biggest problem you've got is that the Premier League 
they're not taking on a football club, they're taking on a country. He said, they're taking on a country with unlimited funds. He said, so the Premier League could actually go bankrupt trying to take them on. To take them on. And that's what they're worried about. Wow. So. See, that's how bad, that's how deep it gets, uh, the nitty gritty. You know? I don't know. And also, what they'll do is, see, now sit, they'll, they'll go to City, right, we need this, we need this, we need that. And they'll go, oh, we're, by law, we're only allowed to keep this paperwork for six years. So there's half your charges gone, gone. straight away. That's yeah. all, they've shredded them. That's all Webby we for your pubs, didn't you, Webby, when a tax man comes, shredded all your paperwork? Yeah. Had a flood in your basement? <laughs> all went down else from there, so. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be done. You know, it's free pubs. True. Oh, oh, Terry in shut 30 up. years. Shut up. And how well, many you, did I have? You were 14 in two. I'm two in four weeks. <laughs> oh, 14 in, oh, yeah, two in 14, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> four weeks booze in two, you're yes, a rubbish yes. landlord. Yeah, yeah. So you've had a good season, haven't you, really? You do, I, think so. I think so. Just one silly game again. I think if we beat Villa, I think it's our time. Do you know what, though? You, it's like from a little point it's of view. The, the Arsenal go, uh, Ivory. If we beat them, it's, yeah. it, we're four points clear. Do you know what? Yeah. You go back to. It's the way it's like when you going for a title or whatever you look at the games you lose towards the end of the season of you don't think about the ones at the start of the season yeah. now we, we played the other week we lost at home to Palace 1-0 yeah. and then we lost 2-0 uh, against Devian if we won them two games on paper we'd be top, top, top of the league yeah. we'd be top yeah. but you know, then we look at the ones at Luton away where we drew 1-1 one, one, just about yeah, last minute and yeah. got two points yeah. there but yeah. you've lost five league five games, games. Season, but I can't recall what game I know you lost to Villa. Fulham twice twice Villa Fulham and West Ham I can't think of the fifth one I never can you, you lost at home to West Ham 2-0 weren't it 2-0 and nil. they beat them 6-0 away yeah you but I can't think of the other one there's five but I can't think of the fifth one you've not lost to City no City, no. Not, no City no Liverpool no Tottenham no United no I know we've got beat by Villa twice Villa's the only team we ain't scored against this season so Fred, obviously as a gooner, just give us a bit of input. So, was it your, your dad took you to Arsenal? Or, I, I like to go back years and you know how the you first, become an Arsenal fan. The first game of football I ever went to was in 1966, semi-final of the World Cup. Okay. That's when West Ham won the World Cup. Yes. So they keep telling me, but yeah. I ain't seen no headlines. Next time I come out here, I've got a newspaper in doors that I'll show you the headlines. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal win World Cup, but that's the difference. Bob, story. West Ham won the World Cup, mate. So, they? yeah, 66 semi-final, my dad took me. Uh, after that, I got so excited about football. Yeah. My uncle took me over the Arsenal. Uh, no, I ain't looked back since 1966. So Uncle Michael. Have you ever had a season ticket? or, or I've still got a season ticket. Oh, you still got one, okay. We've got, got a season ticket with Simon. Ah, I've got a bigger point. Right, I've got you. Okay. We've had one over there with donkeys here. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, What's the, what's the sort of price on a season to get Arsenal? This season, 1,100 quid. Me and him worked it out last yeah, night. 1,100 quid. Yeah. And, that's, that's and, cool. and they're taking away three cup games. We used we to used get to six, seven, seven cup seven vouchers. Seven cup vouchers in, in with our season. Can you use that for Champions League, the voucher? Yeah, yeah. Or just it, it, before, it used, to be, it used to be FA Cup and... You'd get three FA, FA Cup, cup. Right, yeah. you'd get three FA Cup and you'd get three Champions League. If you weren't in Champions League, you'd get them for FA Cup and Carabao Cup. So you get cup. three cup vouchers including that? Yeah. Is that you, like the early rounds or can you pick and choose? Or I'm not no, sure if you can pick and no, choose it comes straight, as, as it comes out. As soon as the competition starts. If you got knocked out early doors, that you can comes use off it. your price. Right, okay. yeah. comes right. off your if you're out of both cups, you've still got two vouchers, that comes off that next comes season's off ticket. I remember reading, I think Arsenal was the highest season ticket. Yeah, that was years ago, I think. I don't think it is no more. Yeah. yeah, but see this, hang on, sorry to interrupt. No, no, please do. This, this is the outing, right? Tottenham, Chelsea, sorry. That mob and, and Chelsea exactly. and all yeah. that, yeah. right? They, they paid the same. They paid the same season ticket money, but they had no vouchers. Okay. They had to pay for their cup so game separate. So okay. their cup game separate. Yeah. And in advance, like, but as soon as it come out, they had to buy it. So yeah. you, you, you didn't, didn't buy it on man. time. They sell it, and you don't get the money back. Gotcha. Okay. I remember yeah. a few seasons ago, we were the one that boycotted the away because you were charging Liverpool seventy quid in yeah. the away end, yeah. and Liverpool boycotted. They got the cap now at thirty quid. That's right. I think it's great. I, I think, think it's great good. If we play Arsenal in the league away or Tottenham or United or wherever, because you got to fit in the train for the train fare is hundred quid. Thirty quid. But if we play, say, I don't know, um, Coventry in, a, in an FA Cup game next season, they can charge our fans fifty quid. Right, There's right. no cap on, on the lower league. Yeah. No. So they, they pay more in the lower league 
than I do in a Premier League. Do you know what the conversation is since we've started this show? Where it's all about one thing, isn't it? Money. Money. It's all about the moolah. It's all about football. the moolah. It's not football. It's a business. No. It's not when about we kids, nothing it was else. About football. Yeah, you're right, Fred. Passion was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could turn up to Anfield. You could turn up to Anfield on a Saturday at five to three yeah. and pay three quid and get yeah. in the turnstile. Right, yeah. back, back when I started going for Pan. in the 70s and 80s, yeah. it was more expensive to go to the movies it was to watch a game of football. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's I still, was going to school, boys, what, for a pound. What is it to go and watch a movie now? Seven, eight quid? Go and watch a football team? What, seven, eight quid here? It might be in England. I bet it's about 15 quid to go to the cinema. It's still cheaper than a football game, isn't it? Of course it is, and yeah. And you're guaranteed two hours, unless you're watching a, a Mickey Mouse film. Like yeah, one like Man United. Then ones he watches. Mickey Mouse tell. Club and all that. Yeah. 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 That means so. You're still getting value for money for your 15 quid for a movie. Of course, yeah. You go and watch football, pay 60 quid, watch a nil-nil draw. What, I yeah. mean... And cry. Okay, right, it's Friday night. Beat. We're getting to a time where it's time for a for couple more beers. It's time for the uh, pub. Can we, any any more shout outs? Anybody you want to say hello to? It's big Saw, you go first, please. I want to give a big shout out to my mate Fred and my mate Roy, who's over there, a bit camera shy, for coming over to see me. I've enjoyed their time when I was away. <laughs> and thanks for everyone that I bumped into over the weekend when I was in England. Terry. Scarlett, happy birthday this happy week. Happy birthday, Scarlett. Yeah, happy yeah. birthday, Scarlett, darling. It's on you um, tonight because it's Friday. It's Friday tonight, yeah. so drinks are on you, Scarlett. And, and we're going down Detroit's. Yeah. And you're paying the bill. There you go. Send it to Uncle Webby as usual. And That's the big man. I'm, I'm coming up, joining you then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fred, do you want to say hello to anybody? It's a pleasure. Any... Thank you for inviting me on. Uh, to everyone I know back home, family, lovely. Good Thank you very league. much indeed. My heart, yes, but my head, no. City, I can't see City dropping a point. But next, and we need them for a point. But next week, you're going to watch... If you was on stars in your eyes, remember Matthew Kelly? Yes. Yeah, next week you're going to be on there. And what are you tonight? Tonight, I'm a um, top. I'm a spud. <laughs> I'm a spud. Listen, <laughs> never in my lifetime would no. I win, win anything. And I'm but you know what? Honestly, I'll have to draw. That's the one. That's the one. If they get a draw there, yeah. right? Because they still got illusions of getting top four. Yeah. So the door's slightly ajar for them still. So they've they're got gonna, they've, they've got to go roll for over. It. They're going to roll he over. He thinks they'll roll over and get beat 8 0. They, they, they will roll over and get beat 20 0 and be happy just to get that goal difference back up. And not have European football. Yeah. Because they're deluded. That's how deluded that's their deluded. fans are. I actually think Spurs are going to draw. Yeah. I really do. I hope you're right. I'll, re I'll listen. Put that there. No, I honestly I do. Hope you're right. I honestly do. I hope you're right. Well, right, right, listen, everybody. We're going to close off now. I've got things to do. All I'm going to say is Terry, my number two. Thank you, Mucker. We'll be back on, well, next week, oh, so I'm in England to see my new grandchild. Uh, so we'll have to Another sort of. one. Congratulations on the grandchild. Thank you, big man. How, that's, are, they, how are they knocking out your mob? Well, that's that's number five, and I've got, I've got one on the way. And I've got number I've six coming in October. Oh, so. I've sussed it. More I've grandkids, eight. bigger the benefit. Oh, you haven't looked at it. He's got eight. Have you? Sign. Have you? Lovely. Cheers, Lovely big to man. See you, mate. Have a good trip boy, away. Try. Thank you very much, Dick. And the big man, Fred. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome, big man. Super. So, what I'm going to say is, Listen, you've been tuned into Webby Sports Road up here on a Friday night. It is Friday Football Focus. That's what we do every single Friday. And in a few weeks' time, what we're going to do, well, next month, talk about the Euros. So we're going to have a big discussion. What we do, we're going to get three or four lads together round the table <coughs> and discuss the 26 players that's going to go ah, to the Euros. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. hang on, hang on. Yeah, go on, bit son. Of plug. We got a bit, a bit of a plug for me, big pal. We've done this for the World Cup two years ago. We've done it for the Euros three years ago. A Euro predictor, 10 quid over go, winner gets two grand. If you want in, message Webby. Message Webby, I'm call me, or message or me, yeah, or we'll sort it, all right? Yeah. And you ain't got to live here to do it. Anyone wants to do yeah. the channel, just sort get involved. Ball, group stage footy predictor, 10 quid ago. Could be a millionaire by bit of fun. the 26th of June. Bit of fun, bit of fun. Could be a 2,000 euro millionaire. So what I'm going to say is, for me, <laughs> Webby, on a Friday night, don't forget live tomorrow morning, 7.30. 7.30? I'm going to be up there. 9.30. Oh, 9.30. Oh, 9.30. 9.30. 9.30. You didn't sign up for that, did you? No way. No, I'm out of that one. <laughs> yeah, free, get on I'm here. out of that one. We're going to be here 9.30 to 10.30. I've been there since Thursday night. It's going exactly. to be dark. Shut up. It's going to be darts, <laughs> cricket, football, rugby, everything. You name it, we're on it. Subscribe to Webby darts. Sports Radio. Yeah, we've got a bit of darts. darts. We've got a bit of darts. Don't forget Foggy, my number 99. He cannot be in a Tottenham fan. Uh -oh. As far as Fred and Simon's concerned. Boom. Yeah, Sky's <laughs> So get on to him and I'll see you on the next one. Have see a great tomorrow. weekend, everyone. I'll see you in the morning. Take care Have from nice. Webby.